Hi, my name is Titima Tantikan. In this session, I will give you an overview of three different features we recently added to Cassava Base. Cassava Base and Intercross Integration, Microset and Accession Search, and an ordering system. Intercross is an app developed by the Fino Apps team at Kansas State University used to collect crossing data. Now with our Cassava Base Intercross integration, users can generate an Intercross import file in Cassava Base, collect the data in the field using Intercross, and then upload the crossing data generated by Intercross back into Cassava Base. So this crossing data will be automatically aggregated within Cassava Base, so users can look at all of the crossing data associated with each cross combination in a single place. Cassava Base can store different types of crossing data, including parental information, cross type, field crossing data, seed lot, as well as progenies derived from the cross. All of the data related to each cross is linked to a unique identifier in the database, which we call the cross unique ID. Cassava Base provides several levels of data organization. For example, several cross unique IDs can be grouped together in a crossing experiment. Crosses having the same parental genotypes can also be grouped in a family. Previously, users had to aggregate the crossing data from their entire data collection process before uploading to Cassava Base. Now users are able to upload their crossing data as they collected using Intercross, and Cassava Base will aggregate the data for them. Let's go through some examples of how Intercross can be used with Cassava Base. Intercross supports two different types of import files. Parent files which contain information about parents used in crosses and which list files which, in addition to the parental information, also contain additional info such as the minimum and maximum number of each activity. Both parent and wishlist files can be downloaded directly from Kazawa Base. To download parent files, users just have to provide a list of female accessions and a list of male accessions. For the wishlist file, starting from a list of female and male accessions, the dialog will provide additional fields for you to fill in information. The files generated from Cassava Base are compatible with Intercross. After data collection, data from Intercross can be uploaded back into Cassava Base. There is no need to wait until the end of the crossing season in order to obtain the final crossing data. Cassava Base will store all of the activities as different transactions and at the same time will sum all of the data for each cross combination. Another feature that we recently added to Cassava Base is the microset and accession search. This search tool can be used to retrieve accessions having the genotype of interest by simply providing a list of accessions and a list of genotypes for filtering. We call this list a microset. Let's walk through an example of retrieving accessions with a genotype of interest from the East Africa clone dot genotyping protocol. First, we retrieve the list of accessions using the search wizard. In this example, I'm interested in the entire set of accessions in this protocol. Next, we create a micro set which contains a list of micro names and genotypes for filtering. The genotypes used in the search can be dosage or SNP alleles. Finally, we run the search using the list of accessions and the marker set. For the marker set in this example, I have five different markers on different chromosomes as a test. From a total of almost 16,000 accessions, 152 accessions have the specified marker information. The final feature that I will talk about today is our new ordering system. Using our new ordering system, requesters and vendors can use Cassava Base as a communication hub to track the transfer of materials like the seeds or clones. 
Not all of the accessions, seed lots, or other materials are available on the catalog. People with the vendor role can add materials to the catalog so that others can request them. The catalog includes names of the items and related information such as type, category, description, material source. If you would like to order or request any item, just click on the shopping cart symbol. There will be a pop-up dialog for you to indicate quantity of the item as well as additional message for the vendor. The item will be added to your shopping cart. You can review your items in your cart before submitting the order. When you submit the order, the ordering info will be stored in the database and at the same time, an email will be sent to the vendor who is responsible for the items. On the Manage Orders page for vendors, the vendor can keep track of different orders, communicate with the person who sent the order by updating the status of the order or send messages. The user that sent the order can check status of each order, the name of the vendor, as well as any comments from the vendors. If you have any questions or would like to give any feedback, I would be happy to answer any questions or discuss with you in the question and answer sessions. Thank you.